Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, I've recently discovered that that bush that we just looked at gets bees around this time of year. Yvonne was telling me yesterday and I was like, you what? And she was like, yeah, did you not notice it last year and the year before? And I was like, no, I had no clue. And then it was only till yesterday I was like, Whoa, look at all those bees. So yesterday, um, I took a couple of uh, videos and some photos, right, of that area. And oh my God, absolutely awesome. I must admit, it's my new favorite thing right now. But anyway, guys, I've got so much stuff to do today. I've got to go to a charity shop again. I've also got to do some editing. And actually, I do feel like I want to go out somewhere today because I've got to be honest, Yesterday, I did not go out anywhere on an adventure. I've been basically staying in the house and, you know, coming to terms with a lot of things in, in a sense. Absolutely a brilliant day, guys, for weather. I've just dropped off Yvonne at work and I'm on my way back and I felt like popping into the uh, Pear Tree Estate. I thought, you know what, let's go and see what um, Co-op has to offer because I haven't been in Co-op for absolutely ages and I fancy uh, get myself a meal deal. So now I'm gonna go and pay for these uh, food. Oh, sorry there, love. I'm gonna go and pay for this food now and uh, get home and uh, get on with some editing. Because... You know, I said I was gonna do some editing, guys. Unfortunately, Dini thought it'd be fun to bring a friend home. So we have another creature here. Fingers crossed we're gonna let this little dude or dudette go pretty soon in this area here. Right, again, like last time, we'll take a left here. I'm gonna put you just down here. On it. There you go. Because being brutally honest, guys, um, I heard Dini meow in the garden and that's a sure sign that she's got something for us and I literally legged it in the garden I was like what the heck can I grab legged it back into the house grabbed the uh, trusted uh, jug in the uh, mat there and uh, then the problem was was Dini was right after I was after it and the poor thing is literally had a marathon around the garden and just like that guys it's time to pick Yvonne up now from work and then we're gonna go in town and get rid of the stuff that we need to get to charity. And then we're gonna go home and chill. I've still got a lot of editing to do today, guys. I'm on a mission to make it look pristinely awesome for you. Wow, look at that sky behind me, guys. I don't think it's going to be a bright day today, to be honest, and it's starting to drizzle now. Well, I was right, guys. I've just had my break, and we've just had a lot of rain. So uh, that sky that we had this morning definitely told us the truth. It wasn't going to be a good day for weather. But I must admit, I am feeling absolutely, you know, pumped because the amount of love that I'm getting on my Facebook and also... Um, on my Instagram for all of my content that I share is absolutely awesome and another thing I want to quickly say is all the love and appreciation I've been getting on my personal profile um, for me you know coming out the closet so to speak oh my god I am so overwhelmed with emotions and everything like that so if you guys are the ones that have you know said what you said on my personal profile thank you it really really does mean the world to me Wow guys, this little bee just got in the house and I have no idea what it's doing there. I managed to save the bee and I'm going to take it outside now and release it outside. But crikey guys, let's have a look at the size of that bee. It's about the size of maybe a one penny piece. Do you know you're going to watch this? So I'm going to put it down on the ground like that. And then I hope lift this up, it should fly. It looks like not only I get rid of mice and shrew, it means that I can also get rid of uh, bees using the old uh, classic uh, jug and placemat there, guys. So 
So that's the view that I always try to get to work a little bit early so I can capture it, do some recordings, and it's absolutely so beautiful. And the best part is, is I upload little clips and some pictures and stuff to my social media. So if you want to check out my social media, you know, and follow me on there or like my social media, then you get to see these pictures and these videos on a daily basis. It was literally horrible weather this morning, I've got to admit it. But I'm absolutely glad that it's turned out to be not too bad to be honest and if I show you the, the clouds they look really really strange as well just look at that you got a lovely you know frame around the sun and then that cloud just on top it's absolutely amazing well for me it is I find that you know beautiful no matter wherever I go guys I always find trees and bushes fascinating I just love the different tones of colour that there is in the uh, different greens that there are. Absolutely fantastic. And look at this one here. Look how red this leaf is here. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Wow, guys, I've got to be honest. This week has been absolutely draining for me. I have been trying to record as much as I can for you guys to see. But unfortunately, I've been at work majority of the week because, you know, I'm a team player and I like to help out. And I have also been trying to find other locations to show you guys. I have been looking further afield and I found some wicked gems in um, an old map. So fingers crossed I'll be able to show you those. And we uh, have many adventures outside Rugeley. But speaking of adventures, guys, please don't forget to check out the channel this Friday for Adventure 32. And I went to a place called Brick kiln pit anyway guys unfortunately this is where i'm gonna have to love and leave you for this week's vlog so i really want to say thank you all for coming by and always do your best to stay positive and screw all these negatives and i'll see you on the next one all right bye z bye